Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to prevent and even repair rotator cuff injuries. Our shoulders are a complex ball and socket joint, probably provides the greatest range of motion of, of any joint in our entire body. When you use a barbell, you're trapped in a two-dimensional plane. Barbell, you're doing this, doing traditional bench presses, shoulder presses, you're holding a barbell, you're doing this. In either case, you're trapped in a two-dimensional plane and this, this complex joint that's meant to move in a three-dimensional space is trapped in this two-dimensional movement. And you end up, over uh, many years, tearing your rotator cuffs. I'm 54 years old. I've been doing this for 40-plus years. I've done a lot of damage to my shoulder. I stopped bench pressing about 10 years ago, and I exclusively use dumbbells because with dumbbells, you can, you can move in a three-dimensional space. And shoulder or dumbbell presses too for uh, for chest. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a correct shoulder press now. With dumbbells, you can you can start with the movement here where your palms facing in, and as you push up, you rotate your hands. That's a three dimensional movement. It's friendly to your shoulder. You don't put the stress on your rotator cuff. And over years of using lighter weight and slowly building back up my strength, I've actually been able to to heal my rotator cuffs. Eight, 10 years ago, I thought I needed surgery like most middle-aged guys. I just changed my form. I stopped using a barbell. I used only dumbbells and I was able to repair. And now I'm back to doing heavy shoulder presses again and bench presses. I haven't used a barbell for 10 years or anything that involves a press. So I'm gonna show you how to do it correctly now. So notice when I do a shoulder press, these are just standard seated dumbbell shoulder presses. When I begin the exercise, my palms are facing in. As I do the press, as I do the exercise, as I push, I rotate the dumbbell. So at the top of the exercise, the dumbbell has rotated and it will be in this position. So I start with palms facing in, palms face out, palms face in, palms face out, palms face in, palms face out, palms in, palms out, palms in, palms out. That's the correct way to execute a dumbbell shoulder press. Stop using the barbell, save your rotator cuff. You want to work out for years. I'm 54 years old. I've been able to repair my damaged rotator cuffs. I'm back to lifting heavy shoulders again. It's all because I scrapped the, the barbell and I exclusively use dumbbells. Same thing applies to flat bench presses too. No, no need for a barbell. Use dumbbells. It's a natural movement of your uh, rotator cuff, your shoulder joint. It'll save your rotator cuffs, believe me. I'm JD Griffin. I'm your fitness and nutrition coach. You can follow me at Get Fit Lean. Thanks for watching.